What's going on, y'all? Coach Anthony here. I got another video for you guys. This is going to be a good one. I think this one's going to be really informative to help you guys out with your head movement. I want to thank everybody, and I mean everybody who has subscribed, everybody who's pressed the like button, everybody who shared my videos. I want to give a special shout out to Art of Boxing over in Canada, doing a lot of great things. They're keeping everybody updated on the sport of boxing. I also want to give another shout out to Supreme Boxing. Both of them have been sharing my videos and they've been getting my information out there and helping me get views and I truly appreciate both boxing companies. This is a head movement video, okay? We already went over a basic defense video where I explained a lot about the blocking and then I did a part two where I explained a little bit about slipping and bobbing and weaving. Those videos are very, very informative too. If you haven't seen them, I want you to go back and check them out. This video, I like to call this video frames, okay? And this is a very good way to think about your head movement. This is a, a pretty basic, easy to remember way. When I teach, I try to break it down to the most elementary form so it's easy for you to remember, so you can practice it at home, so you can practice it in the gym, all right? So let's just go ahead and get started. We got a big frame here, okay? So this picture, you got a frame here, and then we're gonna cut up a bunch of little frames inside of the big frame, okay? If you guys are on Instagram, I'm sure you use the picture collages where you like add a bunch of different photos and just throw it up on Instagram. It's basically similar to that. So we got one frame, okay? So this is always gonna be frame one, directly in the middle. We're gonna go ahead and place frame two right here and frame three right here a little further down. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, okay? So I'm gonna go frame two, frame three. So let me just go over it one more time nice and slow for you guys, okay? I'm right here, we're in frame one, frame two, frame three, and if I do the same thing on the other side, frame two, frame three. If I do it a little quicker, it'll look like this. Frame one, frame two, frame three, frame one, frame two, frame three. And those are your basic frames of where you want your head position. Okay, so I got my demonstrating partner, Kingsley Old Boy He, Golden Glove Champion here. All right, he's gonna keep his hands down right now. I'm gonna go over those same frames that we went over a second ago, okay? But now I'm gonna throw punches so you can kind of see where his head's positioned when I throw the shots, okay? So I'm gonna throw a jab, he's gonna go to frame two, okay? And then as I throw the right hand, he's gonna go to frame three, okay? Same thing on this side, okay? If I throw the jab, he's gonna go to frame two. If I throw the right hand, he's gonna go to frame three. All right, now as you can see, this is a little bit different than the previous video I made. In the previous video I made, I kind of taught slip, slip, row, which is kind of a tick-tock movement, okay? So we're gonna go over that. If he did a slip, slip, row, he would be going to frame two to frame two, and then rolling the three. So let's go ahead and do that, okay? He's gonna slip, frame two. He's gonna slip, frame two. He's gonna roll, frame three, and then he comes back up to two, okay? But see, this is the problem. In a real situation, if he goes from two, he has to cross this line right here, okay? And when he crosses that line, there's a chance he can get hit with a straight right hand, okay? So if he goes from two to two, he can get hit. So let's go ahead and go over that, frame two. Bang, he gets hit trying to get back to frame two. So, when he goes to frame two, in order to avoid the right hand safely, all he gotta do is go to frame three. See that? He goes right over his shoulder. Let's do it one more time. He goes to frame two, and he goes to frame three. Shot goes over the shoulder. Now the same thing can be done on the left side as it was on the right side. South pose, please bear with me. Just do everything from the opposite side with a southpaw boxer to practice this. Later on in the future, like I said, I'm gonna do southpaw versus right-handed videos. But anyway, we're gonna get back to this. He's gonna go ahead and do the same thing on his left side. So I'm gonna slip it, I'm gonna throw a jab. He's gonna slip it by going to frame two. Look at this. If I throw the right hand right now and he tries to crack back that way, he's getting blasted. But what is he gonna do? He's gonna go to frame three. Shot goes over the shoulder, okay? 
He's in position to counter punch, and there's a few other things he can do. Now, another thing, another thing the now let's just say you're trying to get from frame three to frame three or something like that. So for instance, I throw the jab, he's gonna go to frame two. I throw the cross, he's in frame three. Let's just say he wants to go to frame three this way. If he was to cross the line, he would be in trouble, right? So I throw a jab, cross. Crossing the line is dangerous. So all he has to do is roll under and he gets the three. Now he's in three on this side, okay? Let's go over that one more time. Frame one, frame two. He wants to get the three, all he has to do is go all under and now he's in frame three. Same thing on this side, right? So if he slips the jab, the right hand, if he wants to get the frame three on the other side, all he has to do is roll under. He gets under the hook, he's in position to counter. So as you can see, the whole objective is to not cross the line as you're using your head movement too much because you can get countered when you're using these frames, okay? Another thing, if he slips the jab and goes to frame two, okay? and he wants to get back on this side off of my right hand, he could just go from that and then just make it one motion to get to three. So he'll be from two, three, and then three. So it'll be boom, boom, he goes right under. And if I try to counter him with the hook as he's in good position to get countered, boom, rolls under the three. Those are basic head positionings. Okay, one more point I wanna make that I didn't make in the beginning of the video. We're gonna start off going this way on this one, okay? So, I'm going to throw the jab, he's going to go to frame two, right? I'm going to throw the right hand, he's going to go to frame three. If I throw the hook, he's already in three, all he's going to do is roll under and go back to three on the other side or come up to two or whatever, okay? We already kind of covered that. Now, we're going to do the same thing on this side, okay? I'm going to throw the jab, he's going to go to frame two. He's going to go to frame three off my right hand. He's already in three. He already cleared the left hook on the other side. So, when you're in three... You can either roll to get under the hook on one side or you're already in a pretty good position to get under the hook. You just gotta make sure you drop down far enough on three on that side. That's basically how the frame head theory worked. There's a lot of other things that I didn't put into this. So trainers who wanna add pivots and counters and this and that, listen man, I understand all of that stuff. This is just a frame video. This is just so you guys can have a basic idea on how the head movement works, okay? So you got your head movement, you got two, you got two, you got three, you got three. In a future video, I'll be showing you guys how to counter punch off of those twos and threes and what options you have and what your dangers are and all of that stuff. If you really wanna learn this stuff fast though, you gotta come down to the gym, come train with the team, we got more videos coming, but who knows when I'm going to drop another one, okay? I need you guys to like. I need you guys to subscribe. I need you guys to keep up with me, share my stuff, you know what I mean? I, the more I see the numbers go up, the more motivation it gives me to go ahead and give you guys more content. Like, subscribe, share the channel. Check us out. Check out the website. It's on BoxingMMA.com. Boxing Life.